All right, so to find the foci and the asymptotes of a problem like this, we need to know the orientation. And since my x is over my a squared for the equation of a hyperbola, I know this is going to be a horizontal transverse axis. That tells me that my equation of my asymptote is going to be y equals plus or minus b over a times x minus h plus k. Well, I already know h and k, right? That's going to be my 7 and my 5. My b and my a, though, remember, this is it's always a squared minus b squared. So I have a a squared is 16, that means a is 4, and my b squared is 25, so therefore my b is going to be a 5. And again, it's plus k, that's why I'm doing the opposite side. Now, the foci of a horizontal asymptote is going to be my vertex plus or minus horizontally going to be my value of c. Okay, so I got to be able to find my c. Now, remember for a hyperbola, the relationship between a, b, and c um, is going to be a squared plus b squared equals c squared. So therefore, to find the foci, all I need to do is plug in square root of 41 in for c with my vertex.